Okay, now we're going to finish off the registration for, or the final process of the re registration. These, the registration has uh, gone on more videos than I anticipated, so it's time to wrap it up. Okay, so the first thing I've done is on the index page, I have added an extra, um, a div, an extra div down at the bottom here, and I've just called this. Uh, I've given it an ID of notify box. This is going to act like a, an alert box uh, in JavaScript. Inside this div I've got an empty paragraph tag and I've uh, just got a an a, ta a, a tag inside a span tag. The text inside the uh, a tag it, uh, it just says close and I've got an on-click event of close notify. Now if we head back up here, on the success um, of registration complete um, process, we hi we uh, run the register hide function, which hides the uh, registration form, and then we run an open notify um, containing the message variable. Uh, following that, I've created two extra functions. I've got uh, not open notify, which contains a variable of x, and inside that function, I um, we reference the notify box, and we tell it to fade in slowly, and then we target the notify box and the paragraph inside of that and we add content into that paragraph tag um, using the text function and we just fill it with uh, the variable of x so whatever is returned from the success through the message is sent through to the open notifier which is then then fills the paragraph tag I also then have a close notify which tells it tells the uh, notify box to fade out and to remove any text inside the paragraph tags. So if we come over to our page and we go to register. Okay, so we we have read and agreed to the terms and conditions. We sign up. We complete the capture. And there we go. Our registration form fades out and our notify box fades in and it's given us a message of email failure please contact admin and that's only due to the fact that I'm on a local host and I haven't set up the emails to work so when we close that the box fades away and we can come, come back to the registration form if anything's if, it, if there's anything wrong with that so I alter, I'll alter the um, one of the emails and we'll go to sign up again and it comes up with form completion error these messages are echoed out um, as the results to the sign up form if the mail if the email goes out successfully um, we echo out registration complete, check your emails. If it doesn't go out, we get that message email failure, please contact admin. If the form elements are incorrect, then we get that form completion error. And finally, if there's the, the JS token, uh, the token problem, then we get a page error, please reload the page and try again. So just to go over the CSS styling of that notify box, it's exactly the same as the registration box, uh, except that the height and width um, have been altered, and the top and right margins have also been altered to to recentralize the box. So that's it for the registration form. We'll now go on to um, logging it, constructing the logging in. 
Okay, so now for uh, the logging in. I've created a new panel here, a new div content. <coughs> Excuse me. And I've given this an ID of login panel. It contains our close A tag. This one with an on click event of login hide. It's also got two inputs. I've got email here and I've also got password. And between the two, it's got an extra paragraph tag with the class of js underscore verify underscore hold. And this is where we're going to put in the input box for the verification number that was sent to uh, the user via email. And f uh, finish it up, it's got our input um, button just with a value of login for now. Over in the styling, I've given the login panel the same styling as the register panel so I've just appended onto I um, uh, just added onto the CS styling here here where I've got register panel uh, lab uh, label I've put a comma and put the login panel uh, label and it adopts the same styling under the initial box styling for the register panel and the login panel. I've done another one for the login panel uh, to change the height and the margin for the top. And this is just to shrink the box down and recenter it. So if we go over to our page, we've got our login, it's got the our email and our password fields perfectly aligned. So if we come up to the uh, script section of our page, you can see here I have got um, login up here and here I have got login hide. Now the login hide is the same as our register hide, it just uh, fades out the login panel. Now in login up here and I've also altered the register up here we have an if condition and what this is saying is if our register panel is hidden then we only want to fade in our login panel else if it's not hidden then we want to fade out our register panel and then log uh, fade in our login panel uh, that, uh, oh, the same for the register up here if the login panel is hidden then we only fade in the register panel else we fade out the login panel and fade in the register panel and I'll show you what it looks like so we have our register panel we click the login and the login panel fades in while the register panel fades out And that's as simple as it is for that. So coming down to our login panel, on our input um, for our email, we've got an on change event of check verify. And this will send a request over to our PHP page, which will check the email address um, in the database to see whether we require verification or not. So I'll put up the script for that and then we'll go through it. Okay so I've put in the check verify function in the JavaScript. It's simply posting um, information to our register.php page. We're sending over a mode of check verification along with the email and we're returning either true or false from the check. If the returned value is true then we target the login panel and a class within the login panel 
of JS Verify Hold, which is that paragraph tag, and we're filling its contents with HTML, um, and we're putting in a label containing verification pin with an input with a type of text style. I've had to add a margin left of five pixels with a class of JS Verify. If we get false returned, then we clear out the panel, uh, clear out the paragraph tag, and so nothing appears. So we go over to the register.php page and we'll look at the check verification. Firstly, I am running the MySQLi real escape string. But to do this, uh, it's you do the connect uh, real underscore escape underscore string, and I am escaping the posted value of email. We're then running the query. We're selecting verify from the user account, where the account email equals the email variable and limiting it to 1. We action the query and dump the results into SQL and then we're gathering the SQL objects into the row variable. If row uh, verify, the field verify, is more than 0, because remember it's a 7 digit uh, number, we echo out it's true, meaning that we need the account verified. Else we're going to echo out false, meaning that we don't need the account verified. So we go back over to our page and on our login we enter the or we'll just enter anything into the email and when we come out of it nothing happens because this isn't actually an email that appears in the uh, table of the database. So if we actually put an email which is inside the database, and the on change event runs, and it fills, it enters a verification pin input box which we will then use um, when we come to log ourselves when we come to run the login in process and if we just alter that to make it um, something that's not in the database again it vanishes so if we return that uh, we'll leave that out okay so over in the table we can see our verify pin is there so if we change that to zero like we will do to uh, on the login script if the, if the verify is more than zero we'll change the actual value to zero within the database to signify that, it, that we've already um, verified our account once and we don't need to do it again so we'll change that And as you can see now, the verify equals zero. We'll come back over to here. We'll just alter that back to a, a real email address. And on the change, we get no verification input box appear because our account has already been verified. So on the next video, we will actually look at the login process um, of checking when we click the login button we'll check to make sure that the email account exists, the password is correct and if the verification pin is correct if it's needed. Okay, so I'll see you in the next video.